Okay, here we are at the Cabinets to Go. It's the 18th of February, 2011. Uh, just about got this one buttoned up. A couple of little loose ends. Uh, looking around the outside. Uh, I think the building looks pretty, pretty nice. Walking around the outside. There's a little bit of detail work that has to be done with painting up around the that little section of wood above the windows on both sides. Um, a little bit of painting around little trim up in here. That's punch list items, which will be done the first part of next week. Uh, you can see all this beautiful, all these wonderful windows back here. Looking back at the overhead door. Gas meter still has to be put in, then we can finalize the heating system. But everything is passed with the exception of the heat waiting on that gas meter. And back around. We have the electrical stubbed out for the sign to go up as soon as that gets here. Walking in the front door. We've left the brick in the vestibule here. There'll be double transition strips that'll take this up. The wood base has to be put in yet. That will happen tomorrow, which is Saturday, and that will finish up the carpentry. Uh, into the showroom, the two design centers. We were missing the 18-inch drawer bases to build the islands. Those are coming the first of the week in which we'll get those things put up. Uh, the Brazilian uh, walnut floor turned out very nice. Uh, there are some areas in the floor where you can see that, uh, see where there's no shine. They need to be varnished. Uh, that's part of the uh, getting the seconds in here. So um, we'll have to get that taken care of. Kitchen displays, crown moldings. Once again, a little bit of crown left to do on these two that they have to finish up. Uh, we were short of the Brazilian walnut, so we received some additional wood from lumber liquidators. Um, we just turned the grain made it, uh, it's just look, kind of distinguished between the sales area of the back of house, so to speak, and the sales floor. Looks pretty nice, actually. It kind of matches the butcher block tops. Coming back, this is a pan looking back from the desk. You can see the other design, or the other kitchen displays over here. Looking all the way around. The bathrooms will go back through that door there. Come back this way. Back to the back room. And another exit over on that side. We kept all the existing lights for accents along these walls, painted these areas black, all the spiral ducts in. Uh, appliances came today, the refrigerators were delivered incorrectly, uh, the wrong size, they will come in on uh, Tuesday next week. Once again, crown molding has that left to put in. Um, he's ordered additional uppers for these areas here and here. There was, it, we thought about putting windows in this location, but the, the styles of the existing windows didn't line up, and uh, we couldn't have had those windows cut in. Uh, once again, a lot of natural light. Okay, I'm walking back towards the bathrooms. One of the bathrooms does not meet ADA, so the partitions have to be moved around, which will happen on Monday as well. So just a couple loose ends. That's in the women's room. This stall will have to be extended to encompass this whole area. We've removed that toilet, and the partition is just modified so we can meet our ADA requirements. Everything else is okay. So this will be a unisex, be made into a unisex bathroom. This can just remain as it is, this men's room. So it'll just be an extra bathroom, but really not for public use. It'll be kind of like employees only. Kind of. We didn't do anything in these rooms. We left it the same as it was existing. Going back into the electric room. Now we've passed final electrical inspection. Everything is installed. All of the IT equipment is here, installed, and uh, should be running. Mike is handling all that. Walk back out to the sales floor.
panoramic back from the, the bathrooms. Really a pretty space. Uh, we have one door left to put in. Basically just take that one off the hinges and put it on there. That's where they broke in and damaged the door. Walking back to the warehouse area. And kind of danged if it ain't. Uh, we left that uh, we left the existing cooler that was back there, and finished that up in there so that could be extra storage. Uh, it's, it's watertight. There's no reason to demo it. And then coming back into the showroom, just uh, just another panoramic from the warehouse. And that is about it from Crestwood Boulevard in Birmingham, Alabama.